The Shaw Classic has become one of the most anticipated competitions of the year, and we're all eager to see who is doing this. The announcement of who was competing was made a few months ago, but we've had a couple of changes. So only two changes have happened. Um, this was announced by Brian Shaw a couple of weeks back. And, you know, some positive news, some sad news. Obviously, sad news, we have lost Graham Hicks and Mateusz Kieliszkowski, and we've gained Pavlo Kordiaka and Gav Bilton. Excellent news for those two to get this opportunity. I know Gav is super excited. Yeah. But the thing we really wanted to focus on was Kieliszkowski. Now, this is a guy that so many people have said he's the best guy never to win World's Strongest Man. And we have to go back to 2019 to really see the best of Kiliushkovsky. We all remember how good he was back then. And then unfortunately, he's kind of had the tricep injury and he's had complications with that. And then he had a lat injury. And it's kind of starting to think, are we going to see the best of him? Yeah, it's a really hard one because like you say, he is well up there with the names of the best not to win a really major title. He's come close as well. He's been second at the biggest competitions, the World's Strongest Man and the Arnold Strongman Classic. One event notably letting him down in those competitions. But I mean, while it's sad that we won't get to see him there, if he's to do a competition and he's not 100%, the Shaw Classic is probably the worst competition he could do. Eight events over two days, and it is a brutally heavy competition. Isn't yeah, it? I think he's actually having some treatment, isn't he? So it's not like he's just missing it. He's actually getting treatment. But it just seems to be every time we see him come back right now, like he came back for the Rogue Invitational originally, yeah, and we see well. glimpses. You yeah. know, he wins a couple of events. He's looking really good on certain things, but then there's certain events he's almost doing nothing on. We had the same kind of situation at the Arnolds. Now, the Arnolds was exciting because he came second, and we're thinking, okay, he, he, he's back. But when you compare the actual results, results yeah. compared to what he's done in the past he was down on everything yeah, that he's done in the past so even though second at the Arnold's is amazing for so many of us for him he wasn't satisfied no. and then obviously he didn't have the greatest prep going into world's strongest man and world's strongest man is the worst result we've ever seen for Kiliushkowski yes the only time he's not made the final of worlds and I mean it was a tough group anyway so you needed to be in shape to to survive that group at all. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been looking at some of the results. Like I said, 2019 was when Kiliskovsky was at his best. He, he competed about 12 times in 2019. And when you, look, a lot. <laughs> when you look at the results, he was second, third, second, 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 first, 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 and first. Wow. It was a very good year, ending up with the Worcester Bay competition, which he won, unfortunately, picked up an injury in that competition. Yeah. And then he was prepping for the Arnold Strongman Classic, where he placed second. And then since then, it's just not been what we've wanted It's not from come him. together for him. I mean, I say that, he was second at the 2021 Worcester Bay. Yeah. And then he was fourth at the Rogue Invitational and we saw glimpses the dumbbell he was looking pretty solid the yoke into the log really it really good, very good yeah. but the deadlift was clearly an issue with his lat injury mm -hmm. and then from the Rogue we had to wait all the way till this year so he did the Arnold Classic came second again so yeah. he's been second at the Arnold's many many times I know. and it's funny because we talk about him not being his best but he's still getting very good results that a lot of strong men would be thrilled to get but when you know what someone is capable of and when he's getting second places whilst not performing as well as we know he can it goes to show like what's possible and I think that's the the sad part with Kalish it, it isn't is. it I mean the real question is are we going to see him back at his best and do, you, oh. do we believe he thinks he can be back at his best because I, I really, I'm a big fan of Kiliszkowski and I'd love to see him go and win like the Arnold's or Worlds or something like yeah, that. I think, I think so much of the strongman community would. But he is quite a, a an athlete that kind of doubts himself sometimes. Um, amazingly, like people will watch him and think, how? But when yeah. you know him, he does question himself and he lacks a bit of confidence he sometimes does. in himself. Now, you think it's been four years since he's been at his best. Mm -hmm. Mentally, that's going to start playing a toll. So do you think... It, 29 years old, he's still young enough. He's still young, You yeah. know, I think people, I think a lot of us forget how young he is. I mean, he burst onto the scene at such a young age. And then about 2015, yeah, he was very young. But at 29, he's still young enough. Can he 
get back to his best? That's the question I'm kind of asking you, I'm asking people watching, I'm asking him, you know, Kieliszkowski, yeah. do you believe you can get back to your best? And is this why you are taking the time to focus on these surgeries and, and try and get yourself built up? But the more you have, you know, it's it, it's harder to have that same body. He's, he's got a different body now. He's had a number of surgeries. Yeah. It's not the same and, and you do feel different and you've got to almost adapt your training. Mm. I do believe we can see some big results from him because he proves it in glimpses. Yeah, I think so too. I th it's hard though because, you know, the longer you're away, the sport moves on as well. Like, and you get people like Mitch Hooper come into the sport who wasn't there when Mateusz was last. Well, let's, let's the think about Mateusz's career. You know, there was him alongside the likes of Zadrinos, Brian, Eddie Hall, Thor. Yeah. And now you've got like Trey and Mitchell. Martins. You've got Novikov. Like, but even Martins was... Um, has come since Kiliuskowski. Kiliuskowski was around before him. Um, Mitch Hooper, you know, Evan Singleton. There's so many great athletes that are coming through, new guys all the time. Yeah. The challenge becomes tougher and tougher. I hope we can see him back to his best, but unfortunately yeah. it won't be at the Shaw Classic. When do you reckon we'll see him? I don't know. I would really like to see him do something smaller than the Shaw Classic. Maybe even a giant slide. Five events lighter than the Shaw Classic. I've said this a couple of times. He's, he's a very fit athlete. Like The pace of a giant slide does not bother him. Mm. He's done really well at them before. And I think it would really help his confidence as well, being in front of um, all those fans who would be absolutely thrilled to if, see him. If we look at the competitions he's come back to, he came back to the Rogue Invitational. Really hard ones, yeah. He came back uh, and, and placed fourth. He yeah. came back to the Arnold Classic and placed second. And World's Strongest Man obviously didn't go to plan for him. But they are the three major comps. The Shaw Classic now kind of alongside that. I'd like to see him do a slightly, not a small competition, but a one-day show mm. where the weights are a little bit more comfortable. Even something like Europe's Strongest Man. Europe's Strongest Man would be amazing for him. Yeah, and he could win that, you know? Well, he he, he can, can win anything. Yeah, But I think he needs a competition where you've got five really good guys and five, like, you know, just Up outside of that top ten bracket. Yeah. yeah. Whereas those shows he's going back to, it's always the top ten guys. Yeah. So you've got that pressure on yourself all the time. I think he could do with the competition with just a slightly lower opposition, slightly less pressure mm. in terms of expectation on himself, yeah. and just go and compete a few times. This is like a stepping stone back yeah. towards Because when you look at when he was doing his best, he was competing in lots of different shows. He yeah. was doing Giant Slave, he even did like, a couple of Strongman Champions Leagues. Yeah. competing in different shows we had the Arnold sort of World Series back then as well which yeah. was great for guys like he was him. competing regularly I think he needs to try and get himself doing that again and I hope he can you know we yeah. all want to see him competing he, he's an amazing athlete to watch just if you think about some of the performances he's put in over the years oh, it's incredible. some truck pull some log lifts that he's done his stone to shoulder is just you know yeah. that's one still, of the greatest moments yeah, yeah and performances we all want to see him back to his best we do wish him the best it's a shame he's not going to be doing the Shaw Classic but we hope that Kiliskovsky is on the mend and we really want to see him back to his best. Do you guys think that Kiliskovsky can get back to his best? Are we going to see him on the podium, winning competitions and eventually pushing once again for those major competitions? With all that being said, we do have a couple of new athletes. Like I said yeah. at the start, Pavlo Kordiaka, who is the current Europe's Strongest Man, I think a great deserving. addition to this contest. And I think the fact that he's so good all round will be very good. Obviously, he is a little bit weaker on the deadlift but when you've got eight events as opposed to five yeah. that gives you a chance to kind of make up on Definitely. some of those points and then big Gav Bilton getting yeah. his opportunity at a big one yeah I'm really happy for Gav because he's someone who like you know he does the Giants live shows he's been to Worlds for the last few years but outside of that he hasn't really done any major competitions no. never done a wuss and Arnold's a rogue anything like that so this is his first opportunity to really show what he can do in this type of lineup and Gav's got some great events you know. I think the great thing for Gav is going to be no pressure yeah, you know, there'll he, be he's zero got the competition in Cardiff where he will feel that pressure. Yeah, because it's his home crowd. Whereas he's going to go to the Shaw Classic As, with very little pressure yeah. on his back. That's a nice position to be in because you yeah. can just relax and, and, and take risks and go for it. And you know, hopefully he'll do very well. Yeah, and Gav's so fun to watch because he loves to compete, and you know, he, that's why he's such a popular athlete. It's easy to get behind someone who's clearly enjoying what they're doing and is so passionate about yeah. it. And I know the crowd there are going to love watching Gav. They are. And a couple of other things I think we should pick up on right now. Tom Stoltman looks very focused in terms of training. He looks like he's 
taking his strongman seriously again, which is exciting. Yeah, I think maybe, you know, the loss at Worlds this year could be the best thing that happened to Tom in terms of, well, the best thing that happened to us strongman fans who want to see him competing I think sometimes you, you learn more from your losses. We saw it when he did badly at Britain's Strongest Man. Yeah, we did. He suddenly got that fire lit under yeah. him and he kind of went on, and on a rampage. And talking of people that look focused, Brian Shaw is training like a madman for this one. And his absolute last competition ever. Yeah. So he is going to want to go out on a very big high. But Trey Mitchell, the two-time Shaw Classic champion, is not going to make it easy for him. Should we quickly run through the athletes for this event? Because it really is looking like a brilliant So lineup. we'll start off with your defending, two-time defending champion, Trey Mitchell. This has been where Trey has performed at his absolute yeah. best. Brian Shaw, the four-time World's Strongest Man and the first ever winner. Yes. Of the Shaw Classic. Mitch Hooper, the current world's strongest man. Alexei Novikov is still down to be doing this competition. Maxime Boudreaux coming yeah. back from injury for this one. Kevin Fairs is in the lineup. Kevin's been in some tough lineups he in has. the last few years. <laughs> Ivor Schmauxtelis, an athlete that just dominates the Champions League competitions that he's doing. Very, very busy athlete. Evan Singleton looking like a madman right now in his training <laughs> Evan videos. Evan always looks like a madman, but He's, he must be feeling so much more confident after his fifth place finish at World's Strongest Man this year. He, he needed You that see boost. it in him right now. He kind of believes yeah. again He himself. needed it, though, because he, he'd had a bad year yeah. the year before. Uh, Bobby Thompson looking very strong right now, uh, and he's not got too many other comps, so he's really focused on this one. Luke Stoltman and Tom Stoltman, like we just mentioned, Good to see both of them back focused. Mm. You know, the last couple of years, people kind of criticised because they were not turning up at their best for shows. None of that is happening this year. They are focused. I look forward to seeing what they can yeah. do. Adam Bishop, can't wait to see him on the Hummer tyre deadlift. Yes. And then we mentioned Pavlo Kordiaka, Europe's strongest man, Pavlo Nekonechny. Yes, looking forward to seeing a healthy Pavlo back. Well, we're going to see him sooner than that. In two weeks' time, he's at the... We will uh, see him at the yeah, um, Strongman Classic. Classic. So then we have the winner of the Shaw Classic Men's Open last year, which qualified him for this event, Thomas Evans, and what a year he is having. Fifth place at the Arnold. Yes, okay. indeed. And then, as we mentioned, Gav Bilton coming over to America for his first Shaw Classic. An unbelievable lineup. Eight events. Shall That's we what we like to see in a contest. Eight yeah. events, four each yeah, day. Never. Perfect setup. Log medley. They've got the, the Hummer Tire Max Deadlift, and that record nice. has been broken the last two years. I really yeah. loved watching the battle between JF and Jerry Pritchard yeah, a couple of years good. ago. Novikov last year on yeah. this. Um, then we have the Medley, which is the wheelbarrow carry into the vertical lift. Mm -hmm. Very interesting one. Bag over the bar, the leg press. Now, I wasn't that impressed watching the leg press last year. I believe they've made adjustments to this event. Yeah. I and I think visually it looked great. It just didn't quite work out. It was, yeah, I think it was just a little bit uncomfortable to watch because we didn't really know what was happening. Yeah. <laughs> and it seemed a bit frantic and like, oh Absolutely. God, what's going on? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But I think from what I can gather, they've kind of made some changes yeah. and it should be a lot easier to follow. Um, Atlas stones, the heavy set of stones that Brian puts into these contests. Yeah. The bench press yeah it's this a standing a... bench press and we also have the fingles finger into the power stairs medley so brian is putting a it's lot like of 10 events, events, like 10 events it? in there for these athletes into to it, train yeah. for um it's going to be a tough one two days yeah these are going to test these guys it's going to be a great show though really looking forward to watching it this show every year has got better at the short yeah. classic cannot wait to watch it as always guys let us know your comments do you like the events do you like these athletes who do you think is going to win this one and do you think that Kiliskowski can get back to his best we hope he can hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys next time stay strong mm -hmm.